My son father? Yeah. He's, he's a Ghanaian. I know. Okay, you know, so why are you asking me? I'm not doing the interview for myself. I don't want to be my saying things My son father is a Ghanaian. Yeah. yeah. Where is he? He's in Ghana, yeah. Okay. Do you, do you still have contact with him? Yeah. Did you take care of the kid? Yeah. Oh, okay. What happened? What happened like how? For you guys to separate? Because I mean, I've, I've read a lot, lot of things online. I don't want to read online What stuff. happened? We broke up. It didn't work now. It just didn't work. So we broke up. Should I read what I saw online? What did you see? Okay. Um, okay, let me read this one. Mostly, I don't want to say things from my mind. Else people might think I'm just exaggerating. No, I'm, just, I'm just saying things that I don't know. So, a story published by Francis Ado, your guy. Oh, okay. 21st January 2014. Uh, should I read? Uh, okay. Yeah. Chichi is a mother of one and has been in Ghana's movie industry for the past nine years. That is, as of 2014. She was formerly married to actor and producer... Should I mention the name? You are reading. I don't know okay. what you are reading. She was formerly married to actor and producer Roger Cote, but the marriage hit the rocks after Roger was allegedly... I don't want to add that. Did you guys marry? I can say we were married. Well, what happened was that we did uh, engagement and traditional marriage. So, I don't know if that's marriage. I don't know. You did traditional marriage? Yeah. So, what happened was that it wasn't working. So, I had to go to Liberia. I had to run away to Liberia with the baby. And that's his first child, you know. So, I had to run away to my country because it wasn't working. I was alone in Ghana. And so, I'm like, it's not working. And I have a child. I can't be here, you know. And things are not going well for me. So, let me go back to my family where I will have support. So that was how I went back. So I don't know whether that was the reason he, you know, had to do the engagement and traditional marriage for me to come back. But he didn't come himself. He made uh, one of his Ghanaian brother, uh, Mr. Hagman, he's late now, you know, to do the whole ceremony for him. But he was on the phone and stuff like that. So we did engagement and traditional marriage. And then he apologized. And then I came back to Ghana. I came back, but it still didn't work. So. But how did you meet Roger? Okay, I met Roger in 2004, and I, I was interested in acting, so I met a Liberian girl who was somehow into the industry. She was dating a Ghanaian guy who was working at Angel TV. So I, I went to meet her, and she told the guy that, oh, she has a sister who is interested in acting. And that was how the guy called Roger, that, okay, Roger, I have this pretty girl that, you know, for you. I'm like, okay, which one is for you? For you. <laughs> I'm interested in acting. Tell him there is a girl who is in interested in acting. So he called Roger, and then Roger told him that, okay, he should give my number, like he should uh, give his number to me. So I called him, and then we met. So that's how I met him. In. But how is it, I mean, being with Roger, how is he? Mm -hmm. Roger is a nice person. He has his own bad side. When you're every human being. Yeah, but when I was a Roger, I was a Roger for so many years. Like, everybody that is in the industry knew I dated Roger for a very, like, close to three years. Roger and I, we lived together for, like, two years. And then we had a baby. You know, men, sometimes they will not show you their mean character. Sometimes unless they are pregnant or something like that. I was a Roger all those years. I, he was doing his stuff. You know, industry guys, they do their thing. But he wasn't showing it to me like that. He, you know, he used to respect me. We were very cool until I got pregnant. When I got pregnant, he knew there is nothing I could do. So he not there showing himself like, but it was good. We were good. He supported me all through my pregnancy. I had a baby. He was with me all through. Like everything was okay till after some time. He started dating one girl, putting her all over TV. You know, they were all over the place. And I was a young girl. It was very painful. I used to cry. Many days I would be crying. I would just be crying. I would just be crying. I was watching that I was crying. And one person I really used to, you know, rely on and call was Cassium Scenario. She would be like, Chichi, don't cry. You're a very pretty girl. Don't let this, you know. I, don't know. I went through a lot, boy. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I don't talk about it. It's past and gone. That's like many years ago. <laughs>